Well, Labor Day weekend and a lack of social distancing and face coverings, Brian. Governor Steve Sisolak warning about a surge in COVID-19 cases last week if precautions were not taken this weekend. But on the Las Vegas Strip and downtown, it was really a mixed bag. The I team's Vanessa Murphy with more. This is video shot by 8 News Now Monday, both on the Las Vegas Strip and downtown. Thousands of visitors of all ages are here for Labor Day weekend, and some are skipping COVID-19 precautions. Just a lot of partying, no, 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 no covering on their faces. Some people do wear them, some people don't. People don't practice social distancing. I, I try yeah. to, but it's hard. Face coverings are mandatory inside casinos and businesses in Nevada and even poolside. But here's a description of a casino pool. There's people there hugging. It's no social distance. Vegas is just wild. Last week, concerned about another possible surge in COVID-19 cases, Governor Steve Sisolak pleaded with Nevadans and tourists to avoid large groups over the holiday weekend. Nevada has been considered a red zone for the coronavirus. Please help us get through this next weekend. We had a major setback after Memorial Day weekend. We had another one after the 4th of July. And this is our third big one in the summer. David Beal Sr. describes what many can relate to, cabin fever. Just wanted to get out the house. Show the kids a little time. We've been locked down for almost going on four to six months. We're tired of it. The Beals say they are concerned about COVID-19 as they try to enjoy a family trip during this challenging time. I can't say I regret it, but I pray I don't regret it. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Sometimes, you know, and we can be we can be vulnerable to catch the disease by being out here. Yes, we needed a break. Visitors tell us a big draw this weekend, those Labor Day deals. In Las Vegas, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. According to the CDC, it can take two to 14 days for COVID-19 symptoms to appear, so it may take some time for the number of positive cases and hospitalizations to reveal whether this weekend uh, will have caused a spike. Brian. Statewide.